It's Marcy and welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a Collective haul of all of the things that I have bought and picked up within the last two months or so I just got so distracted because Luffy looks so cute. Oh my god. You're beautiful. I have to show you this hold on You're joking. Look at him. I'm gonna cry. You're pretty and I love you. I hope you know that was saying i have so many cute things that i just i need to share them with someone if you didn't know your girl loves to shop so everything i'm going to be sharing with you guys are things that i have picked up so far this year keep in mind we are literally only two weeks into the month of march so the year is still pretty early starting with this sweater that i am wearing this is just a true baby pink i got this at tj maxx marshall's one of the two they're pretty much the same store it was like 20 dollars and I have had outfits involving sweaters like this on my Pinterest board for years now and I always told myself that I was going to thrift one but unfortunately every time I find something similar it's either crop or too small so when I was on a TJ Maxx run I found this sweater and I was like okay yes you're coming home with me I no longer have to hunt the next two clothing pieces are things that I got sent from my friends over at box lunch you guys know that I am a part of the box lunch collective so sometimes I get sent things to create content for. This is the newest thing they sent me. It's this strawberry shortcake t-shirt. I think it's just really adorable. I love strawberry shortcake because I am a strawberry girl myself and this is like the vintage 80s strawberry shortcake or 70s? 70s. Whoopsie. Well, 79. I wasn't too far off, okay? It just has like the red collar. I think it's really really cute. Thank you, Box Lunch. And then they also sent me this sweater which if you follow me on TikTok, I feel like you've seen this sweater a million times. It is this pastel tie-dye colored Sanrio sweater and it has all the different Sanrio characters and they have these cute little like sad faces it's a part of their I think it was called like emo something I don't know but it's really cute I got this sweater in a 2x because I wanted it to be oversized and you guys this sweater is so comfortable I live in this sweater now the next clothing pieces are some things that I got from Romwe all these items they're items that I have purchased myself but I have collaborated with them in the past. The first thing from Romwe that I picked up are these bloomers and usually I do not like wearing shorts at all but I picked these up on a whim. They are so perfect. I love them so much. They are not too short and they kind of give the illusion that I'm wearing a skirt but it's shorts. And then sticking with the bloomers theme, yes I got another pair. I picked up these all white ones so as you saw those previous ones had like pink bows on them. These are completely white and they have the white ribbon on the side. The intention for these is actually to wear under dresses and skirts because these are a little more fitted. They are a little bit on the thin side, but that is okay because the intention is to wear these under things. And the last pair of bloomers are a pink pair, of course. And these I'm kind of on the fence on. So you guys tell me if you think I should keep them. They're like this pretty mauve pink color. I also think just this top part around where the waistband is is very big and weird mainly because the bow placement is on the top ruffle instead of along the waistband let me know what you guys think should i hold on to them or should i return them they're very very cute but i just don't know if they're for me that was pretty much all of the clothing things that i have accumulated because i've been trying to be good i have to do a super deep declutter of my closet which will probably be a video in the near future so i haven't been trying to buy a lot of clothes but instead i've been trying to buy accessories and things that I can use to amplify outfits that I already own. And that's where these next few items come into play. So these are all leg warmers and tights. And I picked these up from Shein because they were literally like three to max $5. These are the first pair that I got. So they are just these white, very little fishnets, but they kind of have the slit there. And it has these pink little bows going across it. Of course, I needed to get pink bow ones. There's a theme with 
with all of this stuff, you guys. But you shouldn't be surprised because you're on my channel. These other tights that I got are sheer and they have pearls and pink bows and I cannot wait to wear these because they are so freaking cute. And then the last two things are leg warmers. Nothing really exciting. These are just plain white ones. And then because it's me, I got white ones with bows, of course. And then speaking of bows, I also ordered like a whole bag of these little tiny clip-on bows. They come in pink, white, and black. I didn't actually buy these with the intention of wearing them in my hair. I actually bought them so I can like clip them to things. But honestly, in my hair, they don't look too bad. And then even more accessories. I have these heart earrings. These are from Forever 21. They're a collaboration with the brand Fraser Sterling. They're a jewelry brand. They're really popular online. They're gold, double heart, and then you can kind of see that the little jewels on them are pink. And then while we're talking about heart-shaped things, I recently went to Target, and the Target that I went to had so much of their Valentine's Day stuff like on clearance. So I was able to score this pearl heart hair clip. And this was originally $5, but I got it for $1.50. And you guys know I love my claw clips and I love pearls and hearts. So this is like the best combination for less than two bucks. Like, yep, you're coming home with me. And then I found the pink one as well. So of course I took it. And then I also found this pink velvet headband. It's like a knot headband and it has heart shaped jewels going around it with pearls. This was originally $10 and I got it on clearance for three bucks. And then on that same Target trip, I found this belt and I usually don't wear belts because I usually don't wear pants, but I wanted a belt for work and I wanted it to be cute and I love it. This was $15. It's part of the Wild Fable brand. I got the 2XL. Adorable. I wish there were other colors. I'm not sure if there are, but the black is what's going to match my work uniform. So it's a way to add a little spice of me into my boring uniform at work. And then from Shein, I got this phone case that I have literally wanted for like years. It's this bubblegum pink bubble heart silicone case oh my gosh I have wanted this case for years I don't know what took me so long to like actually order it look at how cute with the purple peeking through and then the last accessory bit are bows shocker I know but they're black bows that's actually the shocking part I think I would just wear these like at the front of my hair on both sides like that like ooh, look at how cute that looks already are you kidding me yeah no we have to put on the other one right now Look at how cute that is with them hanging off the side of my face like that. That is so cute. The next category is going to be shoes. Can you tell that I went on a Target trip where like I found everything cute you can possibly imagine? I picked up two of the same pairs of shoes from the brand Wild Fable. When you see them, you're gonna run to Target. I'm convinced. They are just these super adorable kind of like square toe shaped flats. I love these so much. So cute. They're like a glossy finish. I'm obsessed with these. So when I saw them, I was like, yeah, you're coming home with me. But then I found the black versions and these are not a shiny finish. These are more of like a matte finish. And I was like, yeah, absolutely. I have to get, I have to get both. You can never ever go wrong with a pair of black flats. And these just give me such like ballet core type of vibes. I love them. I haven't worn them yet, obviously, as you can see, but I cannot wait to wear them. And that's why I needed to get both pairs. And then everything else I have to share with you guys is bags because I have a problem. First is this Sunny Angel bag and it was a bundle deal where it came with three of the 2018 Sunny Angel mystery boxes. I have a whole unboxing of those on my TikTok or coming soon to my TikTok. But it came with this tote bag and I really wanted the tote bag probably even more than the Sunny Angels. Look at how adorable little rose sunny angel and then i just clipped on this angel coroni blind box keychain i didn't need any more tote bags but like i'm gonna use this tote bag so much in the spring because the little rose i love it on that same target trip i picked up this bag i feel like this bag has been all over tiktok this is just their like bubble bag i love it so much 
I just love this style of bag. It's like a bubblegum pink, like compared to my sweater. Two different shades of pink, but if it's pink, I'm gonna love it nonetheless. This bag is a Kate Spade bag, and I actually thrifted this. I got this for like $12. It is so cute. It's just like this baby pink. She needs some love. I'm in the process of restoring her to her former glory, but she's cute nonetheless. I really wanted just like a simple everyday pink bag, and I think this fits the criteria. And the fact that I was able to thrift it for literally less than $20 is insane. And the last two bags are star themed bags and I actually picked both of these up on Shein. So we're gonna start with this one. It's very much like a tote bag style, slouchy corduroy with these white stars. It did come with this little keychain of like a star flower, but I don't think I'm gonna use that. But I got this because I thought it'd be really cute as like an everyday bag whenever I want to take like my iPad or my laptop to work with me. And then this bag, oh my gosh, I have I wanted this bag for so long. Iconic denim purse with like the star denim patch. But my thing, this spot right here, the unlimited ways to deco this bag. I have seen people put photo cards, which is probably what I'm going to do. I've seen people put their sunny angels. I've seen people put calico critters. I love a bag that you can decorate. Look at how cute that is already. We're gonna try it with a photo card because honestly, that's probably how I'm going to wear it. We're gonna put this Chris photo card. Don't worry, he sleeved. That slays, absolutely slays. And then this is the back of it. it. Comes with a long pink strap. And then it also comes with like these little pink and silver chains that you can accessorize the bag with as well. But I think I'm just gonna keep it as is. I love this bag so much. Like I said, I have seen this bag all over TikTok, all over Pinterest. I knew I need to have it. I feel like every K-pop girly has this bag or one similar. So I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna order it because why not treat yourself? We are down to the last few things that I'm gonna share in this haul. I feel like it's gonna be a long one you guys so if you watch this far put the bow emoji in the comments So I know you're a real one. This is the Sanrio portion of the haul I recently went to my local Sanrio retailer here in New York and she had this collection that I saw this collection online Like before Christmas and I was like I need to own pieces of that collection They were on the pricey side I will admit that but sometimes you just got to treat yourself. I picked up this adorable my melody bag charm. I forgot the name of this collection. It's just so cute. <gasps> Look at it. I really want the plushie of her like this. I know I said no more plushies, but like I need the plushie of her like this, like the actual doll. I settled for the bag charm for now because I know I can get a lot more use out of it than just the plushie because I can take her places. She's so cute. Look at her little sparkly eyes. She's in her little bonnet with her ribbons and her little angel wings and her little ruffle. Like she's just like me for real. And then from that same collection, Collection. I picked up two of these acrylic dandy charm mystery boxes as well as two They're like little figure keychains and I thought that we would do an unboxing together I think you guys deserve it, especially if you watched this far into the video Here's a close-up of all the ones that you can get of course I really want the my melody in white to match my plushie But the my melody in black is really cute and like this karomi the one that's similar to the white one I love those two so hopefully I have two boxes the boxes are always really cute so I never want to like break them or damage them when opening them but like holy heck do they make this sticky but okay let's see who do we get who do we get oh we got Karomi oh and she's just the way I said I wanted her oh these are so big that's how it looks and then this is the little stand that's freaking cute with the little ribbons on her ears so let's hope we get the matching my melody okay let's see Okay, it's pink, it's pink, it's pink. Ah! You guys, we got the matching one. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I can't believe it. I'm so freaking excited. Look at, ah, she's so freaking cute. I'm going to scream. Are you kidding me? I'm like shaking. I'm so excited. We got the set. Oh my God, these were the two I wanted the most if I couldn't get to my melodies. I'm so happy that we captured this moment together. Okay, and now we're gonna open these. So these are the options that you can get. Very similar to the acrylic ones, but there's only one version of her in white and then the rest is her in black. So let's hope we get her in white because I just really love that style of her. And what's cute about these is that they're actual like figures. Oh my God, I'm nervous about these. Oh my god! 
god, oh my god. You guys, I swear to god, this never happens to me. Look at her. Oh my god, I can't. Oh my god, I can't. Okay, we need to open the second one. So now, to keep with the theme, I'm hoping we get Karomi. Okay, we didn't we didn't get the same style Karomi, but we got a Karomi. So we didn't get all my melody, which is fine. This one, I don't it gives me very much Nana vibe. Like if you know, you know. Tell me I'm not the only one. Like she'd look like she'd be at a Blackstones concert. Oh my god, I can't get over that we got this one. These are our pulls. This never happens, you guys. I'm so happy that we went on that journey together. I'm so happy. This is the aftermath of filming Nahal. Also, do you guys see Luffy in the mirror? Look at him being a menace. Now I have to clean all this up. And that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed my collective girly haul. Let me know in the comments if there was anything from my haul that you're like, yeah, I need to add that to my life because honestly, I'm going to enable you and tell you that you do. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, all that cute YouTuber stuff. I love you so, so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you.